Dynamo Minsk rides a four-game losing streak as they visit Donbass in Ukraine. Hope you like goals. Ruslan Fedotenko passes to a streaking Alex Ponikarovsky whose first shot gets blocked, but he scores on his own rebound. Looks like he intentionally banged the puck off Pekarina's skate. Skillful move. Minsk answers back. Temu Laine tips home his first of the night past Eric Erzberg. Team Stapleton and Corey Murphy assist on the goal. Both have NHL experience. Still in the first, Andre Mikhailov just puts a shot on net and it sneaks through Erzberg. Not the best goal to let in, but Erzberg has let in much worse over the past couple of seasons. Yeah, he's had a couple YouTube moments. Second period now, Minsk starting to run away with it. Lubomir Pivko sets up Zbenek Ergol to make it 4-1. Minsk would lead it 5-1 heading into the third. Think the game is over? Not so fast. No, not by a long shot. Third period. Ponikarovsky coming down the wing. Sets up Lukas Kaspar in front to bring Donbass within three. About five minutes later, Clay Wilson goes upstairs on Pecorine to make it a two-goal game. And three minutes after that, Rene in no man's land gets stripped of the puck and almost coughs up another goal. The bigger ass in the KHL gives goalies much more room to make mistakes like that behind the goal. Close one. With about six minutes remaining now, Frederick Peterson muscles the puck into the zone. Vatslav Nedarost is able to score three goals in less than nine minutes for Donbass. And the fans are on their feet, including this kid. Donbass heavily outshot Minsk 15-5 in the final frame. They didn't just sulk and quit. No, and as a result, we got ourselves a game. Dying seconds off the faceoff. Anton Babchuk blasts it. Rene stops it. Time expires. And it wasn't pretty, but Minsk holds on for the 5-4 victory. Even though he was shaky at times, Rene still made 37 saves of 41 shots.